I came to Romania 14 years ago, 15 years ago, and then I met uh, Mihai Conchoyo, who became my friend. After a year or so, he opened a business, ATV business, and soon later he asked me to join in. And then there was a lot of racing in Romania, so we invented our own race and the name was then picked by um, us taking over the idea of the lonely wolf wandering through the forests of beautiful Transylvania alone by himself without fear. A little bit also the idea of Dracula, so it's a mixture of wilderness, of a wolf, of Dracula, enjoying wild nature. Uh, action, speed, and all this. Later on, after seven years, they went, uh, got a main sponsor, which is CF Moto, the producer of great uh, off-road vehicles. And from that point on, the name was changed to CF Moto Hunt the Wolf. We were expecting a shorter day, but actually it was, uh, I think, in my eyes, even longer than yesterday and even harder than yesterday, especially the last section. I was amazed to see that the, there were five, six people pushing like crazy. A lot of mud, and goggles everywhere, the wind, the GPS, I could not see. It was really, 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 really crazy. I'm so glad it ended. And yeah, it was an amazing week, an amazing race, and um, I need two weeks of rest. Nu mă așteptam, sincer, să fie așa greu. A fost prima dată uh, când am încercat să facem un traseu după GPS. Orientarea pe GPS chiar, uh, zic că, ne-a ieșit. Acum, la concurs, am încercat să fim mult mai atenți și chiar, uh, chiar am finalizat patru zile fără nicio eroare de GPS. Mulțumesc Authentic Spirit pentru șansa acordată. A fost un traseu foarte dificil. Am văzut că am rămas singur pe un traseu de vreo 90 de km cu zăpadă, cu ploaie. For environmental reasons, this year we had to anticipate the race to the first part of April, but this means we are exposed to a unstable weather. We experienced this this week. One morning we woke up and there was like two centimeters of snow around here on 600 meters elevation. I like this. For me, it's a part of Hunt the Wolf. By this, by connecting five days of difficult riding, um, it became the hardest ATV race in the world. The pictures taken there remain in your brain a lifelong. That's what we want to transmit. Authentic Spirit wanted a little bit to push the idea of racing, to put a few riders on CF Moto, also to test the CF Moto in front of the public. You put the machines and you put riders which are not professional riders, are normal riders, into the most extreme race in the world. There it's no lie, there is nothing to be faked. If those machines and those riders can end four days out of five on the most extreme tracks you can imagine, the results spoke by themselves.
this is my terrain, it is my home ground. This, I, this, I ride exactly this type of terrain since 12 years, since I first jumped on an ATV. I was also surprised to see that I end up second in extreme, especially when I saw the champion of Great Britain, the champion of Sweden, uh, the best rider of all time from KNM, uh, then the old guys like Rick. <laughs>